like that. It wasn't stupid to me, excuse me. Val no. Valerie! That you, Pierre? Yes, Pierre. Yo, P, man, let me ask you a question. What's a brother like you do for fun, man? You'll never know. Man, man, why you gotta get all smart and shit, man? I, I, I bet you go to the deli and, like, pick up a roll of salami, right? Run around to the drugstore and get a tube of Vaseline, and you and the girls make sandwiches all night. <laughs> Look, you don't need to worry about my evenings. What about yours? No problem, man. Yo, baby, let's pick up a 40-ounce, get a two-piece chicken dinner, take it back to the crib, turn on the radio, and if you can find it and I can get it up, we'll both get some tonight. Whoa! Oh, that's real funny, oh, man, but what about me? Punk motherfucker. Man, I've been meaning to talk to you. You know what you're doing to our women? Yeah, nothing. Listen, man, with the shortage, we need all of our men for the survival of the race. That's funny. The women I talk to don't complain about the shortage. They complain about the black man not being about shit. What's this shit? What do you say in man anyway? I see a strength. I see a side of manhood that most people never see. Yeah, the backside. Love, trust, respect, qualities that surpass a black man's stereotype I have found in my brothers. And if you're lucky enough to find these qualities in someone, man or woman, I suggest you hold on to it and be proud. Let's go. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello, DJ. Hello, Valerie. That's fucked up, you know that? That's really fucked up. What's that, man? Valerie going out with Pierre? No, man, the fact that I could lose my job any day and she's going out partying. Hey, guys, what's going on? Working like clockwork, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Told you. Working like clockwork. And what does Muhammad BJ have to speak about on this fine night? What I'm speaking about, man, is by the year 2000, 70% of our brothers going to be unemployed, in jail, homosexuals, or on drugs. <laughs> Where does he get this nonsense from? It's not nonsense, man. So you need to educate yourself. They already said that the best place to hide information from a brother is between the pages of a book. Well, at least one thing we know is I'm in that 30 percentile. What difference does it make if you don't reach back? I was kind of thinking, man. You, know, uh, you be sounding right sometimes, you know? Because I don't be doing shit half the time. And I could be doing something a little better, you know? Trife. <laughs> Simply trifling, man. Do you know what I see when I look at you guys? No, Alex, what do you see? I'll tell you what I see. What I see is a bunch of lazy, self-defeatist, slave mentality type niggas who don't have the gumption. Or let me break this down for Mr. Spoonie over here. The balls to pick themselves up and do something with their lives. Too bad, because that's because you've been brainwashed to run from that which is real, man. Real? What the hell are you talking about with this real stuff? Everything about me is real, BJ. I mean, just today, I pulled me another Caucasian persuasion. So what's that supposed to mean, Alex? Come on, get with it, Thomas. What it means is I'm extraordinary, because it's quite obvious that not every brother can have himself a white woman. Yeah, you're right. You see, they're gold diggers, and they go after you simple brothers with money. Uh, 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 <laughs> I can sure smell the jealousy in the air tonight. No, no, it's not jealousy. You just don't see dogs mate with cats and cats mate with rats and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> BJ, what is this dog, cat, rat shit got to do with who I'm sleeping with? Man, listen, I believe in a colorless world. And not you, you, and especially not you, will tell me who to adorn myself with. See, they got you to assimilate to that kind of thinking. So how do they do that? Stop encouraging that motherfucker, hey. man. God damn. No, it's all right. I'll tell you, man. See, it was back in the 70s when we had our unity, and they knew that in unity there was strength, right? So then they came in and they stripped us of it, so we all be like Alex. Oh, whole lot of hot air out here, but I'm still not hearing how. I'll tell you how, man. See, it was back in the day when we were learning who we really were. I told you Rosa Parks did the right thing. You know, you're right, man. And ever since that incident happened, we've been together in the struggle. Yep. 
We even got our own black movies coming out now. Wait. Speaking of which, I think it's time for that movie. Let's go and check this thing out. <laughs> yeah, bruh. I want me a cat like and a white bitch. Ooh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> now that was the dumbest shit I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> Thomas, listen to me, man. Just forget about Valerie. She don't count. Go out here and get yourself two or three of those little, well, you know the kind of jobs you would get. Save yourself some money, boy. And then you'll go out and find yourself a new woman. And this time, Alex promises you, you will keep her. Alex, yo, my man, you don't have a clue. Hey, Alex. Remember, you're black. Y'all talking that crazy shit, man. I'm out of here. Hey, Thomas. Don't worry about it, man. Things gonna be all right. I mean, how could the bitch do this to me? See, from what you just said, I probably can tell you. Um, Mark, I, you know, I really need to talk to Pierre for one second. Can you excuse us? One, one, one minute. Why are you introducing me to crazy What's people? wrong with you? You could have gone to see Rick James. I told you the man had big pain. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You saw how crazy Thomas was acting at the house? What's up? He's probably gonna lose his job. Pierre, look. That guy's been looking at me ever since we sat down. Which one? The one in the tan suit. But he's... Yeah, um... I know what he is. Look, Thomas may not be the best, but do you want to do that? Why don't you go talk to your friend, Mark, and maybe he'll come over here and talk to me. Down? Yeah, sure. Look, um, let's just get to the point. Do you want to go out sometime? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> pretty, pretty. What's your name? Valerie. Valerie. I'm Brandon. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Can I get you a drink? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Perrier water. Great. Um, one Perrier and, uh, beer, please. You know, I'm here all the time. I'm surprised I haven't seen you. Well, this is the first time I came with my friend Pierre. Oh. Thank you. Um, would you like to dance? Um, yeah, sure. Great. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm a computer programmer for Comtex. Oh my god, what a small world. I handle their account. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. What are you, a salesman? No, I'm a trader. Oh, that's good. Got its highs and lows. <laughs> Looks like we have a short dance here. Why don't you come over here and let me introduce you to a friend of mine? Sure. Um, Brandon, this is my friend Pierre. Pierre, Brandon. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, look, Valerie, I gotta get going, but dinner tomorrow. No, no, no.